It was a catastrophic failing of international peacekeeping. The genocide at Srebrenica tarnished the reputation of the United Nations and exposed the inability of leading nations to work together and deal with such a conflict. A UN report into its own affairs, presented in 1999 by the then Secretary General Kofi Annan, concluded with the words, Bosnia was as much a moral cause as a military conflict. The tragedy of Srebrenica will haunt our history forever. The UN was, belatedly, condemning its own tendency to try and remain neutral in civil conflict. You refuse to, to confront what is effectively an enemy, an aggressor who are killing civilians, because you may have to negotiate with them for uh, humanitarian access. But that is largely the position that was taken. Things were changing in the way the international community could respond. Srebrenica and its horrors became a watershed. Within weeks, NATO forces had bombarded Bosnian Serb positions. Too late for many, but it forced the start of a peace process, leading to the 1995 Dayton Accords, which ended the wars in the former Yugoslavia, spearheaded by the United States and its negotiator Richard Holbrook, and signed in Paris in December of that year. At the same time, a quiet legal process was finding its feet. By 1996, warrants were issued for the arrest of the men deemed to be responsible. General Ratko Mladic and Bosnian Serb leader Radovan Karadic on charges of war crimes and genocide. What I know is that uh, many Muslim soldiers have been killed uh, in the forest. How they have been buried, I don't know. When Kosovo was threatened by Serbia in 1999, there was a concerted reaction as NATO intervened to end violence between ethnic Albanians and Serbs. By 2001, the former Serbian president, Slobodan Milosevic, was in The Hague and facing trial, later to die in custody. And after years on the run, both Mladic and Karadic were convicted of genocide and crimes against humanity. There is no real closure for the bereaved. Nothing heals the misery of those days in 1995. But there is now a template for war crimes investigations and trials, even if it takes years. A legacy of Bosnia and Srebrenica. Francis Collings, TRT World.